Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the tips and tricks on how to make a fairy core island. I just want to put out a disclaimer that there's no such thing as right or wrong in this game, and these are just tips and tricks that I like for my own island. This is the map that I chose, and I left it similar to this. I did not flatten it, I just terraformed to add on to it. So these are before pictures of my island where I had a greenhouse and a little farm area which I absolutely loved but as I went on I realized the style isn't working for me. I always wanted to do fairy core and I knew that so I took those ideas I originally had and added more fairy core elements and I left a lot of the same ideas in a similar area to what I had before. Fairy core elements to me is a lot of water, waterfalls, cliffs, and lights so the mush lamp or the nova light those all add a big element to it that makes it just feel whimsical another thing i really really love is having dirt paths i always loved them in new leaf and they were so hard to get so now having this feature is amazing i love to make my dirt paths like stepping stones it'll look differently on the map but i feel like it's more natural and doesn't look as perfected and completed when it's more of natural randomized type of style when it comes to my cliffs i like to also have them really natural and randomized i don't like having sharp corners and i don't like having too many straight lines i feel like when they stick out a bit go narrow wider it just makes it look more natural also with cliffs, I love to terraform, so for me adding a lot of different levels just adds to that whimsical feel. So where we are right now on my island, if you go down, there's a little corner for Molly's house, which is a level 1. Then you go up to level 2 that you see here. So I just think having the different levels and kind of making a little secret pass going through just adds so much more fun to the island. I think it's a lot of fun when visiting someone's island when they have a lot of these levels so it feels kind of like a hill type area and you can go up and down and it just feels more secluded and natural and that there's a lot more depth to the island than just having it all one level regardless of that level and looking flat. Another thing I love decorating with are the weeds. The only problem is that they do grow when it rains and I think in the snow as well but don't quote me on that. Um, to me that doesn't bother me just because I find it relaxing to plant them and replant them. It's one thing I actually really like doing and I just love the look of the weeds. I personally love decorating with hybrid flowers. I think adding those pops of colors really add an extra effect. If you ever have space that you don't know how to decorate, I recommend using these items that I'm showing you here. I basically use them as filler items and I think they're so cute. You can customize the colors and they just work in any setting. So for example, right beside the tree I have there, I put down a mum cushion because I didn't really want to add any more bushes or flowers. I felt like the space had enough and this just fills it in and adds more depth and whimsical look to it. Another thing I love using when decorating are custom paths. You can find these on basically any social media. There are so many artists and creators that will post them for you. You just have to look around and find the ones that fit your theme of your island. For me, I like adding different types and different colors and materials. I feel like that just adds more to the look. Another fun idea is to add bridges on an angle. It really changes the space. Another thing I love to do is use water as pathways that are shown in some of my other videos. Thank you for watching and if you have any more ideas, please comment below.